Okay, so this is biology. Uh, maybe let me just show you the paper itself. This is biology, July 2017, biology paper one for GCE. Okay, so this is Starlight. You can call me my neighbor. I believe we're all children of light, so I'm obsessed with starlight because I understand that starlight fades in light years. So, and without light, for three months, all life on Earth will actually come to an end. So, um, first question from this paper. Biology 1, 2017, 50, The diagram shows a guava leaf with a magnification of times two. Um, if the length of the drawing is eight centimeters, what is the length of the actual leaf? You have to know the formula for magnification, which is magnification is equal to image length over object length. So simply you're looking for object length, which is uh, if the length of the drawing, which is the image, uh, is eight centimeters, what is the length of the object? So you want the object length, make, make O the subject. So O is equal to image length over magnification. So Magnif image length is 8, which is this one. The magnification is given to you as 2. So 8 over 2 gives you 4. The answer is A. The answer is A. Uh, the second question, the diagram uh, shows a plant leaf. Okay, we've got this plant leaf here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are parts. should be able to tell what they are even if you are not going to answer them. So which two structures in this cell are not present in the red blood cell? Uh, you should have read about red blood cells or spe cell specialization from your grade 10 and uh, you should, you'll be able to uh, differentiate. So which two structures in this cell are not present in an RBC? Two, that's a cell wall. Okay, it's not present. Cytoplasm is present, cell membrane is present. Then RBCs lose their nuclei when they mature. So they lose this. So the most appropriate answer here is B. Two and three. No cell wall, no nucleus. The answer is B. Next question, what term is given to refer to the solution outside the cell whose concentration is lower than the concentration of the solution inside the cell? Therefore, this is, these are uh, relative terms. Equilibrium, no. Hypertonic, hypotonic, these are relative terms. You cannot just use them if you only have one solution. So you can only, sell, you can only say a solution is hypertonic if it's more concentrated than another solution that you're, you are comparing it to. So this one is dilute. Hypotonic means dilute. So they have said solution outside the cell whose concentration is lower, meaning it's hypotonic with respect to the cytoplasm inside the cell. Our answer is C. If we say isotonic, it means they are of the same concentration. So, but for this question here, our answer is C. The cell outside, which is low in concentration, is dilute. And when it's dilute, you can also use another term, which is uh, it's hypotonic. Okay, this solution outside the cell is hypotonic. We get the next question. Um, for the diagram shows a log and key model of enzyme action. Which number in the diagram represents the, the enzyme and the substrate? Uh, my take is um, enzyme and the substrate. My take is one and two. This is the enzyme because it, it doesn't change at the end of the reaction. And that's the substrate because look at these arrows. After attachment, then finally it breaks down. This is a catabolic reaction, an enzyme that is involved in catabolism. Therefore, it's, an, it's a digestive enzyme. Okay, it's not a synthetic type of enzyme, but digestive. Our answer is A. Uh, B, I mean five, oh, B, I don't know where B is coming from, I'm thinking about bumblebee. Number five, which of the following correctly shows the deficiency diseases caused by lack of vitamin C? Proteins, iron, and iron in the body. C, before I even look down here, see that's scurvy, proteins, kwashoka, then iron, that's anemia. So scurvy, kwashoka, then anemia. Okay, so our answer there is D. Okay, D. Question six. Uh, which nutrient in the diet should be increased to keep a patient healthy after suffering from malaria for a long time? Understand that malaria actually uh, destroys red blood cells. It produces toxins that destroy red blood cells. Uh, so at the end of it all, someone can easily become anemic if the mal mal malaria stays too long in their body. So iron should be part of their diet if they stayed uh, uh, for a long time with malaria. 
after suffering from malaria for a long time. So our answer is C there. Number seven, in plants, magnesium is an essential element for the formation of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll, our answer is A. Allow me to flip this page. We'll go to the next question. I'll go up to question 20, then uh, we'll do the other half next time. So number seven, number eight, it's right there. That's a fungus for um, saprophytic nutrition. We're still in grade 10. The diagram shows the structure of rhizopus, okay? Which label part, which labeled part releases digestive enzymes? D, okay, D. Uh, these are not real roots, but these are structures of rhizopus that grow into, uh, into, the, um, into the substrate and release enzymes which digest. And then at the end of it all, these same structures absorb the end uh, products, okay, the nutrients, and then the uh, fungus grows. So our answer is D. Number nine, the diagram shows an in, the internal structure of a leaf, okay. Uh, which part transports food uh, nutrients? Which part transports food nutrients? The phloem. This is the xylem on top, and then the phloem is usually down there. This is the under part of the leaf. There's a venous stom stomate here. And then, of course, this is the spongy mesophyll, palisade mesophyll. So our answer is A. Remember, the xylem is up here. The phloem is down here. Okay, the phloem is, is usually lower and it transports plant-made material, plant nutrients. The xylem transports water and its solutes from the ground. Number 10, uh, the organism has, an organism has the following number of teeth in the mouth. Incisors four, canines eight, premolars eight, um, no, 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 incisors four, canines eight, premolars 10, and molars 12. What is the dental formula of the organism? For this formula, you have to be, you have to know what a dental formula consists. A dental formula only consists of half the number of teeth on each jaw. So what is shown, I'll pick, I, my answer is this one. Uh, I had to divide. If this animal has got four canines, meaning two are on the lower jaw and two are on the upper jaw, uh, incisors. So on the lower jaw, I'll only consider one. Since there are two, I'll only consider one because I have to only consider half the number of teeth on each jaw. So if on the lower jaw, I'll consider one, but there's supposed to be two. And even on up here, I'll consider one, but there's supposed to be two. So here there are two, down there are two, but I only consider half the number of teeth uh, on each jaw. Then I'm told canines are eight. Okay, I have to consider meaning four down, four up. So if you have four down, I have to consider only half of that four, which gives me two. Okay, and the, 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 the list goes on. If you have 10, if you, if you just look at this here, it may be a little bit um, cumbersome, but when you just look at the first part of all of these formulas, this is the only one which is very, very appropriate, and the answer comes out as D. Because when you look at this, you may not really know. Uh, okay, you can know, you can tell, you can tell by counting, but my answer was D. You can simply pause the video and do your counting, but otherwise, it means out of these 10 premolars, four uh up and six are down okay six are down four are up and then out of the so you have to consider that you look at six up six down four up uh six down then four up four down two up two down our answer is d and by 11 the diagram below shows part of the digestive tract which uh digestive tract full stop which structure produces an alkaline juice needed in digestion? Alkaline juice. I was almost putting this, but um, this actually produces um, uh, pancreatic juice, uh, which of course works very well in alkaline conditions and consists of three major enzymes, pancreatic amylase, pancreatic uh, trypsin, and pancreatic lipase. But the one which produces an alkaline juice, which neutralizes the chyme, the acid that comes from the stomach, is D. Why did I write C? What's wrong with me, man? So the answer is D. The liver manufactures bile, and the bile is stored in the gallbladder. So the gallbladder is actually just a storage site. Our answer is supposed to be D. Our answer is supposed to be D. Get to the next question. Allow me to flip this. Um, yeah, to just move that. Hope it doesn't really confuse you much. So number twelve, which change? What changes cause expression? What changes cause expression to take place? Uh, relaxation of the diaphragm, 
and um, contraction of internal intercostal muscles and then the volume of the thorax to decrease meaning more like squeezing the air out so the diaphragm relaxes um, meaning it becomes dome shaped okay as you breathe out it relaxes and becomes dome shaped uh, this contributes to the decreased volume in the chest cavity apart from that the contraction of internal intercostal muscles also uh, causes the rib cage to move downwards and inwards uh, therefore the changes are D the changes are in answer D number 13 which of the following can help to reduce the cause of stigma to people living with HIV and AIDS sensitization that's so just make people understand what it really is and once they understand what it really is then they'll not say it's not something that is uh, can just reach someone or it's not something that you know they will understand what it really is and sensitization is the answer there number 14 what type of immunity do babies obtain from the mother through breast milk natural passive immunity natural passive natural because the, it's natural it comes about naturally so we don't have influence over it passive because the baby doesn't take part in generating it number five 15 sorry in an experiment to compare water loss four uh, similar leaves were treated with petroleum jelly and left on a table for one hour leave one upper surface only covered with vaseline uh, leave two lower surface covered only uh, leave three both surfaces leave four neither surface covered so this guy will lose more water already you can tell because we're talking about water loss then the lower part of the leaf has got more stomachs or stomata meaning that it can also leave lose a lot of water so upper surface the upper surface has got very little stomata so this one will lose more followed by this one with the lower surface then followed by one then three will not lose much which of the leaves will wilt the slowest the one which is having both surfaces covered it won't lose water quickly wilting is simply um, an effect brought about by excess loss of water by plant cells okay which can also be referred to as plasmolysis plasmolysis um the next question there is uh question 16 question 16 where we sorry Question still, which vitamin is essential for clotting of blood? Vitamin K. Okay, vitamin K is essential for clotting of blood. Allow me to flip the paper as I just do the last four questions. Um, the diagram shows the external view of the heart. Which blood vessel is the pulmonary vein? My answer there is D. Okay, D is the pulmonary vein. You can confirm that point just in case I messed up, but the answer is D. Um, number 18, which substance can diffuse out of the blood into the dialysis fluid through the dialysis membrane in a kidney machine? Which substance cannot? Okay, cannot. That's protein. Proteins don't move out of uh, blood vessels because the dialysis tube is made to be more like uh, porous as a blood vessel. Number 19, which is my second last question there. Uh, my second last question, just a moment, sorry. Uh, a person is digging in a, on a hot day without drinking any water. Um, what effect will this have on the release of antidiuretic hormone and reabsorption of water? Okay, if someone is dehydrated, they will reabsorb a lot of water and reabsorption of water is brought about by an increase in the release of ADH, antidiuretic hormone. So release of antidiuretic hormone will be increased and then reabsorption of water also be increased so they retain a lot of water. Since they're digging on a hot day, they will lose a lot of water through sweating and so they cannot go and urinate too much water again. So the body conserves or retains the water, uh, much water into the body and that is actually referred to as osmoregulation. My last question in this video is which of the following is one of the effects of overpopulation overproduction come on overproduction of tyroxine the answer is hyperactivity okay hyperactivity i end here for this video i'll see you in the next one um remember to subscribe and share these videos and see how far we can go as we try to break down this simple science of ours uh bye bye for now